we have to start with the law they drafted. Ano ba talaga ang nakalagay doon? So ang nakakatakot dito, yung Article 25 and Article 29. Anong nakalagay sa Article 25? Okay, any terrorist group designated by the United Nations, United Nations we will adopt. Pero ang third paragraph ng 25 is the most dangerous. Because nakalagay doon, nevertheless, the ACT, the, uh, the Anti-Terrorist Council, mm -hmm. can designate any person who committed uh, the, the prohib prohibited acts under Article under Section 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yun yung mga prohibited acts na nag-define ang terrorist. So in effect, the AC ATC can designate who a terrorist is. Okay. Hmm. On what basis? Ang sabi ng batas, probable cause. Kaya hindi ko nakikita kung saan hinuhugot ni congressman yung sinasabi niyang proof beyond reasonable doubt. Because the law is very clear. The law says that on the basis of probable cause, they can make the designation. And what is alarming in this case? Walang hearing, walang proceeding, notif no notification to the respondent, no opportunity to belie the accusation. Hmm. You, you, you contrast that with the next section, Article 26, where the Department of Justice can apply to the Court of Appeals and make and cause the declaration of an individual to be a terrorist. So we have here two modes by which a person can be declared a terrorist. One executive, one judicial. But the executive is the most powerful. Because unlike in, Article, in Section 26, where there is a... Makikita nyo naman eh, yung procedure, you file a case in court, there will be a hearing, evidence will be presented. Don't say 25, it just says they can designate on the basis of probable cause a person who is a terrorist. So walang ganun-ganun. It's so very easy. So very easy to supply a procedure in that particular article and yet they did not. So iyon ang question dyan. So talagang powerful. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Pero sir, 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 if I may, sir, sir while you're still there, sir, yeah. while you're still there, if I may, sir, pero sir, is there a difference between yung effect ng uh, designation ng uh, Atitor Council versus yung proscription ng, uh, ng judiciary? I mean, uh, uh, may, mas may impact ba itong uh, ATC uh, designation versus yung anti versus yung uh, yung uh, proscription ng uh, Court of Appeals or uh, kasi ang sinasabi ni Congressman Nogales ang talagang uh, ang talagang uh, may ano may may saysay ang talagang may weight would be the proscription of the courts and not the ATC well you cannot see that in the law itself yung sinasabi niyan yon hindi mo makikita sa batas yon because when you look at the third paragraph of Section 25, itong nakalagay talaga, the, the ATC can designate, in effect, a person who is a terrorist. Mm. You know, designation, pupuntahan mo yung second sentence. They could apply with the AMLAC for whatever procedure yeah. can be made under Section 11 of the AMLAC law. And the uh, Section 11 of the AMLAC law provides that without delay, quote-unquote, without delay, any designation of a terrorist uh, relate to them by that by that uh, council. The property can be frozen, quote unquote, without delay. So therefore, it is really punitive. It is really punitive. And eto papasok tayo sa section twenty nine. This is uh -huh. really the this is really the serious part because under section twenty nine, okay, upon written authority of the council. At any police or law enforcement can, ito ha, eufem, ito ha, sa akin to, euphemism for an arresto, may take into custody any person, and I will quote Taboka, so that we, ito ha, ito, this is the law, quote unquote, any person suspected of committing, of committing yeah. defined and penalized, unquote, under the law. Look at this. The law is very clear. Every wording of the law now must be looked into. It says suspected. So ngayon, ano ang basis mo ng suspicion? Alam naman natin, in ordinary parlance, and that is how the law should be taken. Ang suspicion, hindi pagpapatunay. Ang suspect siya, hindi napatunay. Masasaspek ka. 
Huhuliin mo kasi may, may ebidensya at huhuliin mo dahil suspicion. Nakakatakot yan. Oh yes, it is so broad now. Kasi hindi mo na madidistinguish ngayon kung sino ang terrorist at sino ang ordinary criminal. If you, if you look at the prohibited acts under Section 4, ang pinakauna doon nga yung sinasabi nyo kanina, yung uh, uh, causes a grave danger to the life of a person, on property, etc. And a grave danger to public security and order. E kung, e kung criminal ka, ordinary. Arsonist ka, halimbawa. Or homicide ka na, 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 na commit mo. Wala na talagang distinction, at least malabo ang batas, papaano ka nagiging terrorist if you commit just an ordinary crime. Diba? Kasi kung ang punto ng anti-terrorism law is to put some gravitas to certain acts because it is terrorism, hindi yan nililigay doon sa isang provision na iyan. Pero yung iba medyo okay naman yung iba. Hindi ko naman sinasabi lahat pangit, no? Kasi yung iba medyo massive destruction of property, extensive, may mga qualifier na ito. Pero yung unang-una pa lang doon, doon halimbawa, na grave threats ka. Na grave threats ka lang. Papasok doon ang grave threats. So ano, ano ka? Terrorist ka ba? O common criminal ka? That is the problem. At sabi pa ng batas, against government and private persons. O ba paano yan? Di ba ba paano yan? So, where do, you, where do you draw the line? What options are, are is, remains for people who are against this bill? Alam mo, gusto ko sana sabihin sa iyo, Robby, magdasal na lang tayo eh. Pero, pero anyway, yeah, okay. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a procedure provided by law. Uh, on, uh, kasi normally, normally Robby, basta umakit ka sa Supreme Court, dapat merong ano eh, may na-transgress na na hmm. Hmm. to be able to be a real party in interest. Kaya ng very, very, ano, very uh, trans transcendental cases, the Supreme Court will admit because nga, yung issue napaka mahalaga and far-reaching. And I think this is one of them. And we, you, I, I believe that... In other words, in other words, sinasabi niya po, unfortunately, kailangan may masampulan. Well, normally ganyan. Hmm. Pero nakatanda mo, Robby, very active tayo dun sa cybercrime law, di ba? Doon wala pa sa kapulan, di ba? Kaya lang, mm. ang punto natin doon, it is of such a transcendental issue involving the freedom of speech and freedom of expression na tinakognizance ng Supreme Court. Ngayon, kung, kung iyan rin, ma, madedevelop yung theory niyan, I think the Supreme Court will, will, ano, will uh, I hope the Supreme Court will consider it as a transcendental uh, case and therefore they will hear it immediately. Thank you.